Hi, I'm Alex Aaron, a technician at SQLARM, and today we'll be reviewing the wiring of the SK1131 SPQ indoor keypad. Welcome to our instructional video. We are glad you are here. We encourage you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to click the bell to receive notifications of new SQLARM user and installer videos. In this video, we will go over the following. Overview, wiring, and advanced wiring, The product we are covering in this video is the SK1131 SPQ keypad with a proximity reader. Some significant features of the keypad include 12 to 24 volts AC or DC operation, 1200 users, 1000 on output 1, 100 for output 2, and 100 for output 3. Three outputs. Output time is adjustable from 1 to 99,999 seconds or toggle mode. It has one egress input. Let's start with the door strike hookup. Fail secure. Note the wiring diagram here before we show the steps. Connect the positive terminal and the common of output one to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally open of output 1 to the positive side of the strike. Connect the negative of the strike back to the negative of the power supply. Let's test the wiring to make sure it works. Next, we'll hook up a maglock, fail safe. Note the wiring diagram here before we show the steps. Connect the positive terminal and the common of output one to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally closed terminal of output 1 to the positive side of the mag lock. Connect the negative side of the mag lock back to the negative of the power supply. Test the wiring to make sure it works. Gate operator hookup. Contact closure. Note the wiring diagram here before we show the steps. Connect the positive terminal to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the carbon of output 1 to the ground of the gate motor. Connect the normally open of output 1 to the open of the gate motor. Test the wiring to make sure it works. To wire request to exit button. Note the wiring diagram here before we show the steps. Connect the negative terminal to the RTE button's common terminal. Connect the keypad's EGN to the request exit button's normally open terminal. Test the wiring to make sure it works. Hold open wiring. In this section, we'll look at how to set up output 2 for hold open. Note the wiring diagram here before we show the steps. Output to series or parallel. First, let's look at how to wire this setup to a door strike. Connect the keypad's positive terminal, the common of output 1, and the common of output 2 to the positive of the power supply.
Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally open of both output 1 and output 2 to the positive side of the strike. Connect the negative of the strike back to the negative of the power supply. Test the wiring to make sure it works. Okay, and now hold open. Let's see how to wire this setup to a maglock. Note the wiring diagram here before we show the steps. Connect the positive terminal and common of output one to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally closed terminal of output 1 to the common terminal of output 2. Connect the normally closed terminal of output 2 to the positive side of the mag lock. Connect the negative side of the mag lock back to the negative of the power supply. Test the wiring to make sure it works. So, 9876. Unlocked. Locked again. Hold open. This has been the wiring for the Enforcer SK1131 SPQ keypad from Seek Alarm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.